Parents of those teen girls who were so seriously injured in a parasailing crash on Monday now say both young women are showing signs of improvement. ABC's John Muller has the details. You're in a state of shock. I mean, this is vacation. It's supposed to be fun. For the very first time, the parents of two 17-year-old Indiana girls critically injured in a parasailing accident are speaking out. From that day, the scene was so chaotic. We didn't know what was happening. On Monday, Alexis Fairchild and Sydney Good, best oh. friends on a vacation in Panama Beach, Florida, were parasailing. Oh, f But then their line broke loose from the boat, slamming them into two nearby buildings, as seen in this video captured by a witness. We are at the Commodore, and two parasailers just smashed into the top of it. This morning, Fairchild and Good remain at a local hospital, but are showing signs of improvement. She actually got up today with therapy, was able to walk. She's responding to us by voice. She will move her arms and her legs. She will respond to commands. Initial reports from investigators said that strong winds may have played a large role. On Wednesday, Aquatic Adventure, the company that ran the boat involved in the incident, said that while they adhere to the best practices to minimize risks, sudden weather conditions can occur. Meantime, in their Indiana hometown, friends and supporters hung posters to show solidarity and raise money for the girls' mounting hospital bills. Their parents thankful for the support. We just need everybody to keep praying for us. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York.